as well. That's Check Your Storm Team Forecast. Adriana, you're ready for the fall I am. spirit. I, I'm, I'm, I'm so appreciative you know, of I, it. When I found out you were filling in, I wore orange <laughs> just for you, just that for you, thanks. Brendan, because I know how much you love fall. All right, they're about construction because there are a lot of construction projects that are going to be happening next week. Uh, this is next week, Tuesday. You're going to see a traffic pattern shift along I-43 on the southbound stretch between uh, Capitol Drive and Center Street. The traffic's going to be shifted towards that median so crews can work on the outer lanes. Then along with this, you're going to see some ramp closures also. The Green Bay Avenue uh, entrance ramp to I-43 southbound just right off of Capitol Drive is scheduled to close through the fall. I know that's going to impact a lot of us here uh, at TMJ4, so it's something that I'm reminding my co-workers of. That entrance ramp is going to be closed for a while. Uh, you'll also see the entrance ramp at 9th Street to I-43 southbound closed until the fall. The Keefe Avenue entrance ramp, exit ramp from I-43 southbound also closed until the fall. So what is open? The Hamilton Avenue entrance entrance ramp will be will be open along I-43. So a lot of closures that are going to start. This is going to start next week, Tuesday. So I'm just giving you a heads up. Right weekend in a minute and over in Lake Geneva, the 62nd annual Venetian Fest makes it return. This is a family friendly celebration and a fundraising event for the Lake Geneva Sheboygan JCs. So there will be a carnival, live entertainment, a boat parade, fireworks and a water show. There's also some new events this year like axe throwing, chainsaw racing, which sounds a little crazy, and, yeah, and a lumberjack <laughs> show. Well, this weekend you're going to see Puerto Rican flags everywhere and I literally mean everywhere because the annual Puerto Rican Family Festival is back at Veterans Park. Celebrate the rhythmic sounds of bachata, merengue, salsa, and reggaeton, along with indulging in delicious foods like rice, mofongo, totones, and lechon. So that'll be on Sunday, but on Saturday, the Mi Gente Latin Beach Festival takes over Bradford Beach. And you'll also see a lot of Irish pride this weekend at Henry Meyer Festival Park for Irish Fest. Throughout the weekend, you can taste traditional Irish foods, listen to those beautiful Irish folk songs performed by artists from Ireland, and watch the talented Irish dancers. And finally, Kenosha County Fair runs through the weekend. Tonight, there's a hay bale toss, truck and tractor pools, and more. Give yourself, give yourself a green. <laughs> yes, you can. Why not? Now that you're over here. I know. I get to stand closer to you guys. Come on. <laughs> I got it all right. Uh, the Kenosha one. Yeah, so there's a tractor demolition mm. derby oh, cool. today. I'm sure that's always okay. fun for the kiddos mm -hmm. yeah. to watch. And yep. hay bale tossing, which is a lot harder than it sounds. What was the chainsaw? What? I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of interested to in going. Okay. Yeah. At first, I thought they were going to run with chainsaw. Chainsaw racing. Chainsaw racing. Yeah. But yeah. I think it's probably like cutting. Oh, like hurry. Yeah, yeah. Okay. cutting. Because yeah. running with a chainsaw yeah. sounds, a little, sounds, sounds very dangerous. dangerous. Sounds exciting, but dangerous at yes. the same time. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Thrill.